one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is the interior review of this beautiful 1998 Chevy Astro van. This van only has 68,000 original one owner miles on it. It's, it's just, it's as sweet of a van as you're gonna find. If you're looking for an Astro van, stop it and call me. 406-546-8748. Check the date on the video. I get people call me up five, six, seven, eight years later and it'll be gone by then, guaranteed. This van ain't gonna last. It's a California van, been here all its life. Um, it's a beautiful van. And I said, I did an exterior video, you can find it on my channel, and I just was raving about the van because it's an absolutely beautiful van. If you're interested, 406-546-8748, Nathan, oneownercarguy.com. I'm gonna kinda go down the sides and show you just how clean and straight. Look at the reflections and everything. It's a straight van. And we'll continue going down there. I'm gonna pop that, look at this clean interiors. We're gonna look at that next. I'm gonna go down the other side to where you can see everything. Just beautiful. And let's pop the hood. I'm gonna put this around my neck. I'm gonna have to drop you for a second. But let's do it. Look at this. Clean as can be. 4.3 Vortec. Nice battery. Still got all the hood insulation and everything. It is a nice van. There's pictures on my um, website, oneownercarguy.com. Okay. My wrist is a little weak and I dropped that a little harder than I wanted to. But tires, look at these tires. Titties in between. Yeah, man, it's clean. Just clean as can be. Well, just clean, it's a clean car. Little chips right here I didn't notice before. Pedals, clean, nowhere. Floor mats, carpet's just beautiful. Seats are in great shape. They're not all ripped up and torn up. They're in great shape. A little stain right there I didn't notice. Uh, just not all tore up. A little dirt on that, or grease or something. The head, headliner's in great shape. And let's go show you the back. Door panels, great shape. And tires, man. Just nice. You know, I had this up for the couple stains in it, by the way. And I didn't shampoo it or nothing. I tried a tiny bit of spot treater on it, but I didn't have much. Took a little bit of it out, but I didn't have enough to do it. And I don't shampoo the carpets. The next thing you know, one of my employees leaves the door closed and then it's all mildewy. It's not what I do. I buy and sell stuff and I do mechanical stuff. I don't really do carpet cleaning. So I'll bet you'd come out. It's clean. Clean van. Everything is just as tight as can be. All your trim and everything and your rubber weather strip and all that. I'll show you in here. We'll go for a test drive. Look at these seats. Look at this van. Just look at this van. All the floor mats in between. Carpet's great underneath them. It doesn't look like anything. It honestly looks like the guy had the van for the sake of having a van and was gonna like use it for stuff that a van would be used for, but it doesn't look like the back of this van has really ever been used for anything. Um, it looks like nobody's really ever sat in the back seat. You know what? One of the things on this van, let me make a video just about this. Look at this. That is unheard of in a Chevy. Unheard of. It's not all wrapped up behind here. It's actually good. Look at there. Actually works, man. Actually works. Um, you got your thing here. One of the rubbers for that is gone, and that one, because it got stuck to my drink and then I lost it somewhere. There's just no stains, rips, tears. It's just beautiful. Underneath, beautiful. Tiny stain right there. And I'll bet you they come out. Like I say, I didn't even shampoo the carpets. Okay, so. 
Look at this stuff. I'll show you the rest of it. A couple gouges right there. I like that. I don't know what it's from, but it's a couple gouges. Wow. That's like something they actually is supposed to be on there. I don't know what for. There's one on that seat too. Interesting. I seen that. I thought it might be something like a patch, and it's not. Okay. Here's your build codes if you are into that sort of thing. Beautiful. Check out the wheel wells. I don't know. I hope you can see it. If not, you can see it in the day, the exterior video. And that's the van. Look at the windows. This thing's just so clean. Clean van. Okay, 406-546-8748. Name's Nathan. Um, there is some traffic out there right now, but we're going to go jump out in it and go show you the van on the road. Do a road trip. Actually, just a test drive. Got the terms mixed up in my head, I tell you. Okay, oneownercarguy.com. It's an LS, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. And we got to go over some of the interior options on this van. First option, 68,000 original miles. 68? 69, 603. God damn it. I put probably 1,800 miles on it then, or 1,000. Uh, locks work. Um, windows, sides fine up and down. This side I don't like. You can roll it down a little bit and then it has problems going up or all the way down. The motor's weak on it. Um, I don't fix stuff like that. It gets too pricey for the end user. And lots of people like to fix it themselves. All this stuff is so tight. This thing, oh my God, I'm serious. Oh, that works. The AC, cold as can be. Rear AC, cold as can be. Rear wiper, there it goes. Front wipers, there we go. And horn, there it goes. I know that works, I just used it on somebody today. Okay, we're gonna do a test drive. Radio works, all that good stuff. Gauges, it's all good. And here we go. And seriously, it's already too cold. Too cold in the car. I'm gonna go up to the right, which isn't the normal way I go, but I'm trying to get that air conditioning off. It's freaking cold. So we're out here on the road pumping along about 30. Power band on this thing is so nice. This car just goes. Okay, there's a little old man crossing the road. Brakes work great. Little old lady. Same thing, we don't want to hit either one of them. It's just so nice. It's just so nice. Another call here. Sorry about this. This thing is zero to 40 just like that. I mean, and I only put the gas about a half to two thirds of the way down. You floor it in this thing, you'll break loose and peel out. Um, I don't know anything else I can say bad about it. There's nothing bad to say about this van. Except that it's a bad, bad van. Um, you're gonna be hard pressed to find anywhere, anything anywhere close to as clean as this van. Um, just the way it is. I guess we'll stop for red lights. Sometimes you just gotta do that. And that's that. 
I'm at the most traffic in the day type time, which really blows to like do a review like this. And it'd be nicer at a different time. But you know, you gotta catch that hour at nighttime like this to where you don't have the sunshine uh, marks all over the seat and everything. It's just a nice time to do the interior in the evenings like this. So, I'm gonna go put this back on my lot. I'm gonna actually take it to my mom's and park it in the driveway. It'll be a while before it's on eBay, uh, but it will be on eBay soon. Guest cap. And my place is right there, so I'm gonna clip this off and I'll put an ending. Okay, so that is the deal. That's the video. We're doing it too in it. Have have fun. That's what I was saying to him as he left and this car is in here. We are done with it. Um, there is... What is that? Wow. Kind of a, a different kind of thing there for sure. So that is the walk around. That's the test drive and everything. It's a great van. If there's any questions about it that you have, you can call me anytime. It's 406 6 actually, I'm almost giving you the wrong number. It's 406 546 8748. The name's Nathan, and you can check out oneownercarguy.com. There's all kinds of pictures and a video and all that on there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. oneownercarguy.com.